At this point, we're just going to show how we mark uh, what we call ultrasound guided phlebectomies. Now, this gentleman's already had the large varicosities marked when he was standing up, but the anterior accessory saphenous vein is incompetent, and this is leading to quite large varicosities that we can see on the ultrasound but aren't visible when he's standing up. Now, there are some people who might argue and say, well, of course, if they're not visible on the surface, do we need to treat them? The problem being, our experience has shown that if you don't remove these at the time of surgery and you do ablate the feeding vein, in this case, the anterior accessory sphinx vein, of course, what will happen is they're going to thrombose and just because they're not visible on the surface won't stop him getting painful red lumps, which will be quite uncomfortable for him for a few weeks after the surgery and in addition to that, uh, could go on to cause brown staining if they're big enough. Therefore, when we see on the diagnostic ultrasound very large uh, varicosities underneath that are too large for foam sclerotherapy, what we do is we mark them with ultrasound and then perform ultrasound-guided phlebectomies in these situations.